Hey y'all, it's KK. I'm back with another video. As you can tell from the title, I'm setting the desk up, going from that to this. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you everything I did to get all set up. If this is your first time here, hey girl, hey, my name is KK. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1K. We're so, so close, so don't be a hater. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the like button too. I'm gonna just do a voiceover on this video. I'm showing you guys now what this area looked like before. It was really not a used area, so it kind of became a catch-all for everything. So there's a little bit of everything in here. There's garden equipment there's tools there's shoes there's dog food there's an extra couch we got new furniture there's a bookshelf over there so it's just kind of a catch-all area so first things first i gotta clean this up and actually make room for my stuff First, let me get that introduction. We on the long road to sell destruction. If you so in love, you wanna tell me nothing. Let me get this clear. Cause I had no idea. Now that I have everything pretty much clean, I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff put in here. I'm getting my computer turned on and all set up, and I'm going to hook my printer up. I did go ahead and get a lower tray so that I could print um, letter and legal size paper. If you haven't seen my video on my printer, I'll go ahead and put a card up top. But if you are not sure on the setup or the settings that you need for your printer or to get the um, lower tray working, go ahead and keep watching because I'm going to have all the settings and the setup in here.
So these are the settings that it has fresh out of the box. It's set for letter size. So when you put the paper in, it's not going to fit at first. The width is okay because letter and legal paper is the same width, but you do have to make it longer. So basically you just have to push that clip at the top and slide it down so that it extends it. Um, and I didn't know this, but it says that you should fan your paper before you put it in the printer. So if you didn't know that, there you go. Fan your paper before you put it in. But as you can see, now that the tray has been extended, the legal paper fits and it will be flush with the front of the printer, but it will extend in the back. So I just wanted to show you that, that your printer will still look normal from the front, but it's just going to poke out in the back a little bit. Shout out to this young lady here. I met her in a Facebook notary group. She was kind enough to send me a test page to check and make sure that my printer settings were correct for legal and letter size paper. Um, basically, if it prints out and you can see all the borders, the edges, and all the information printed, then your settings are correct. But as you see here, both of them printed out on letter paper, so I had to get this fixed. Even though your machine may not match the model on the screen, the overall process will be the same. We will begin by selecting the paper size for each tray. On the control panel, press the down arrow repeatedly until the paper tray option appears on the LCD window. Then press OK. Arrow down again until paper size appears on the LCD window. Then press OK. Arrow down until the tray 1 option appears. Then press OK to set up the first paper size. For this example, we're going to select letter size. But you can use the up and down arrows on the control panel to select a different size paper. Press OK to accept the paper size. Arrow down again until tray 2 appears. Then press OK to set the next paper size. For this example, we're going to set it to legal size. You can continue this process for as many trays as you have installed. Press OK. Press the Cancel button to exit out of the menu. For Windows users, go to Devices and Printers and open the Printer Properties by right-clicking on your device and selecting Printer Properties. Click the tab that says Device Settings. Now click Auto Detect. The driver will recognize how many trays you have and the types of paper being used in the tray. Be sure to apply the settings before closing the window. my printer set up let me just be the first to say baby 30 day weight loss challenge is coming next because boy anyways i'm getting my bookshelf straightened out this is where i'm going to keep my shipping supplies at i'm going to list everything on the screen here that you'll want to get from ups and fedex all this is free you just have to make an account with them online and they will send it to you for free so I'm getting that all set up and then I'm just going to get the miscellaneous little office supplies that I bought. Go to Dollar Tree, it is your friend, but I'm gonna go ahead and organize this and make all this look better. Uh, 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 
I almost forgot about my mobile scanner. It's so tiny that it kind of just blended in with everything, but I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Um, the thing I like about this is that it has um, specific settings where you can um, scan ID cards. So that's definitely gonna come in handy and it's lightweight and mobile portable. So plus 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, guys, that's basically it. I have everything set up, my scanner, my laptop. I have my printer, I have both of the trays set up and I have them labeled so that I don't try to stuff papers into the wrong places. I have my old OG printer back here and my filing cabinet, which has extra supplies and other stuff in there for my other business. I have my notary bag up here with all my little extra um, office supplies. I have my binder clips. Um, my books, obviously, that I'm gonna get into. I'm gonna make a video on the books that I like to read and that I swear by. I have my shipping supplies, all of that. So um, I also have in this little box here, which is just the top of my paper box, other just little miscellaneous, little flags, more paper clips, pens, staples, clippers, or not clippers, um, paper clips, things like that. I do have a separate video if you want to see what's inside of my notary bag, but yep, that's it. It looked a hot mess before. I'm not saying it's the best office ever, but baby, we gonna make it do what it do, and this little desk right here finna make me some money. So if you haven't yet, stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.